Hello everyone. This is a quick look at Windows 10 build 10176. We're going to open WinVer and perhaps it will show you once again that it is build 10176. Currently there is no patch notes for this build so I don't exactly know what is new. However I will open a few apps and uh, we can check out the version number or see if you see anything new. One thing I did notice is it says trusted windows store app. I don't recall it saying that previously. Since this is a leaked Chinese build, um, Cortana won't support English. You'll have to set it to Chinese and you probably don't speak Chinese so Cortana won't work for you in this build. I don't know if you guys have been playing any games, but when you're logged in to the Xbox app in the background, and you open any kind of game, I'll ask you if you want to DVR the game to Xbox. That's existed for quite a few builds. Um, it appears that they still haven't added the resizing to smaller than that. The mail app uh, fails to launch. The news app, I will get you the build number. It is build 4.4.165. I do not know the build in the previous public build, but hopefully there's something new. It's mostly supposed to be bug fixes, so you shouldn't see anything newer than the previous public build. However, this is the official RTM copy, so I mean the official RTM preview copy. So you will see um, some branding, like you would, like you saw in Winver, where they finally added branding to Winver. Apparently, calendar also crashes. Um, English was um, how you would want to say hacked, which is just the language pack was copied over and you used a Windows PowerShell to add it as the default language to the ISO file. However, I will be sharing the ISO in the video description. But yeah, there's probably not that much new. Um, it seems to be a buggy build because uh, the last time I tried recording, the whole system locked up. Um, wasn't while I was recording either. You also can't activate it as it is an RTM uh, or non preview, like normal FBI preview. So you're unable to activate it. There's some KMS servers and stuff. I tried one of W's ORs, but I couldn't get it to work. Well, I got it to work to an extent where um, it didn't kind of lock up on you. But it's still not officially activated. If you go to optional features, it'll only allow you to select different languages, I mean, different parts of the Chinese language. As it is a Chinese build. So, I recommend staying away from it. But if you want this build, as I said, it will be in the description. They do have Groove in here, but I believe Groove is also in 1666. So, there's probably nothing new in the actual app side of things. It's probably more relative to just the OS itself with the branding, etc. I will open Groove and we can check the build number. If anything, I would assume it would be the only one that would be touched besides maybe the store. Uh, I guess I'll open the store also. I don't know how many of you are actually interested in any of these apps. I personally am not. Anyways, it's built 3.6.1154.
Now I will open the store. I don't know if it will successfully open or not. No, it just crashes. So there you go. Maybe if it was able to activate, the store would open, but the store is probably just not supported in this build. Uh, you're probably unable to update from this build, as it is in a different build queue. Instead of FBI Impressive, it's in uh, T1 or something. So, yeah, don't upgrade um, unless it's really necessary for your EPing 